What's up? Name's Rec. I'm a coach. And this is the roast. How you doing? <clears throat> Today we have a Echo game from a Trinity One Trick named Zotsu. Or, or Exotsu. I'm not sure. I'm really bad at reading some of these names. So I apologize for butchering it if I did. His in-game name is Trinda One Click, so that's a tell you enough. He's a plat four Echo. He's practicing Echo and he's in plat four. That's all you need to know. I'm going to go on to his runes now. We got here Dark Harvest, uh, Sudden Death, Sudden Impact. That's what it's called. Fuck, I, I know what it does. I just forgot the name. I just blanked out. Fuck. <laughs> All right, hey guys, Eyeball Collection and Ultimate Hunter. Now, I believe Ravenous Hunter is the better choice on this line, just purely because of uh, just it's more consistent. The sustain is nice, and it helps generally as you get more kills in the early game. Plus, being an assassin with extra sustain is always helpful. Secondaries, you've got Boots and Cosmic Insight. Now, I'm not going to say that's terrible, but in some cases, people are going to look at uh, Futures Market because for jungle, like it always helps to have that extra bit of money in the early game. I've also seen some people that go for uh, the usual uh, Nimbus Cloak water walking uh, side of things. I've seen, I've seen quite a few changes, honestly. I think boots, I think boots and uh, cosmic inside is fine. I don't really have any like massive issues about it. Your shards are perfectly fine too. But yeah, there are some people that are testing futures market at the moment and they're finding it good. Might be something to look into. I don't really recommend Ultimate Hunter because truthfully, CDR will make up for it in almost every situation and. Getting Ravenous Hunter gives you a stat that you wouldn't gain normally from items, so it's worth looking into. Um, some people do still run Fleet Footwork in the jungle, and some people still run Electrocute in lane, but I, as a general jungle rule, I would probably prefer Dark Harvest just because the stackability of it is great, and it definitely helps in the mid game. Plus, Echo Snowball potential is huge, so yeah. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right. Let's fast forward a tiny bit till we get into the game. There we go. Do you hear anything, chat? I say chat, but I know no one's there. So I'm not very smart. Oh, I've got to do that stupid old tab thing again. Oh, I hate it when this happens. Oh, come on. So what happens when this thing actually like gets stuck in the way of things? There we go. He appears to have frozen his game too. <laughs> We're on the same page here. All right, I'm going for the invade. This is this is purely muted apparently, so there's no point in even having this here. I'll just put this back to back down just in case something happens during the game and we all get deafened. But yeah, this is unfortunately muted, so you just have to hear my lovely voice the whole time. I'm going for the early invade, which is very interesting. I mean, given that you have Nautilus. It's not really a bad thing to do, but at least having a wall, that's a scary one. Him just walking off like that. But yeah, blue invade to start. Hopefully go for the three buff. Understandable in a platinum setting. I would rather you at least have your blue buff watered or have something watered so you can figure out if they're going to do something. Someone is pinging it though, so that's a good sign. <clears throat> oh, I just need to remember your jungle match. So you're against the Vi. Now... Early game wise, neither of you do particularly amazing like damage to each other without landing everything. So in a, most cases, you will win this in the short term. However, you just have to be mindful that your lanes are a bit iffy if you if you're going top lane because you have the Carthus, they have the Shen, who has much more lockup potential early on. But there, that doesn't look like they're going for it. So this makes your life easy. Plus, Carthus early clear is very helpful for you because you can just spam a few Qs on it. Also, the, this does give it away that you're on this side, though, so it really depends on what they're looking to see. Now, I'm wondering just how hard you're going to greed for this, even if you're going to stay for Gromp. You are? Okay. I almost half expected you to go back towards your thing here. But if you were worried about the damage that Gromp was going to do to you, you should have thrown your Q at it earlier so it would get out of range. But this looks like it's actually going to happen, and you're not staying for it, so this is awkward. At least the ward was a good touch, but yeah... If you're not committed to the play, the time that you waste there is actually quite heavy. So I'd be very mindful of that. But yeah, it looks like he just did the standard of... Well, I mean, I say standard, but it's pretty outdated of uh, going from buff to buff. Just to get the fastest clear possible. Now, it's not particularly bad, but it's not particularly good at this point in time. Unless you have a clear cut plan for early game in top lane. Which it appears he does, because you know, Carthus is a pretty easy kill for early game. 
Now, the big issue though is that you've spent your your smite. You don't have any early game sustain, and you're going to get absolutely ruined HP wise for your clear. Now, if you wanted to sustain a little bit better, you could actually have a better time of just queuing uh, chickens and running away from it, because it would just give you the sustain that you would need there. But yeah. Only because you you don't have any like ability to kite camps, and you're really pour into this. I might just uh, just go back and just show you a couple of things here. I get that you're trying to kite this back without any trouble, and you're going for the early combo. But if you're going to kite this early on, you have to understand two things. If you start the kite from here and walk yourself along here like so, and going in for your sort of like plan, you'll at least have a better chance of kiting this without screwing up the range of it. Like you get yourself caught in here and take a couple of extra autos for no reason. So try to avoid that. But as a, oops, hang on, there we go. As a general sort of note, like this sort of thing here without having your smite available because you wasted it prior whilst not actually using it effectively, it really hurts your early clear. <laughs> yeah. Why does a bus and goes straight in for the early gank onto Yasuo, which is understandable? Faker, question mark? <laughs> I mean, that was a good escape. It was a little bit awkward if he chases into the jungle, though, because he might go straight to your blue buff. No, he went for crab. So he's got both crabs and you've gotten zero, which is another problem. This is the issue with, like, early game invades as well. Though. People go for these silly invades and they're like, oh, what we started at is blue, we should be behind. But they don't do, like, the extra, like, the, the fundamentals of the jungling stuff, which is, you know, getting your experience and getting your early clears done, which is, you know, your buffs, your first runs, the crab. The crab is, like, the most important thing in the universe. And if you leave that to rot and they just take them off you because you're too busy fucking around in their jungle at the beginning, then you're screwed. And here we are. You're behind an experience. Vi is going to take both crabs, which makes up for the experience loss you would have gotten from missing a buff. You don't really gain a lot from this. Plus, as a general note, you want to start W and then Q, just because the stun plus your... Um, <clears throat> the stun plus everything that comes from that is much more beneficial than anything we'll get from just starting Q. Plus, you want the bonus, um, you want the passive from it as well. So yeah, go W, Q, then E, and that way your early clear will be a little bit easier to work with. The stun will be more helpful. You'll get a bit of extra damage off your autos. And <clears throat> after that, first and foremost, you'll be able to actually utilize your abilities a little bit stronger too. Because <sighs> you really got to work on that first clear, especially if you're going for an invade and you just immediately get screwed up for it. Now, say, if Pike's just walked up into this for nothing, this is kind of free. But, even so, he'll, you are only going to get his flash out of it. And then walking straight into Sivir's Q doesn't particularly help. That was, was very nice of him to actually give that to you. Good heal. Now, truthfully, what happened there was a bit of a... Bit of more of a mistake by them than it was you actually doing anything great, but you did capitalize on it, so nice little pick up for you. Now, most situations, I'd rather you go blue smite than red, just purely because you have an easier time just getting in and adding to your damage by doing so. I'm not a fan of, uh, especially low elo jungles, I'm not really a fan of you switching to red lens early game just purely because in most situations, you're not going to get good vision control out of it. And in most cases, you're going to be better off just putting more wards down rather than cleaning wards up until you're at least able to buy more pink wards, which you've got neither. So the problem here, right, is that you'll come back, you have the lens, you probably, on a lot of a lot of occasions, anyone sub diamond will not not even have wards placed, and that just that just kind of hurts the reason to actually have it in the first place. But if you at least have wards and can put wards down, you can actually help your team a lot better. Also, you should be leading with W. 
in almost every case here. Especially against Gromp, because Gromp does more damage on his first attacks, not his later ones. So you want to at least bear the brunt of the damage that he's getting with your shield up at, when you first get into combat with him. But, you know, simple stuff. Now, the good thing this is pink watered. Give you a chance to come in on this. This will be infinitely easy, like I said, with Blue Smite, because you'll be able to just use it in a lot more cases to get into fights. Plus, the, <laughs> the speed leech is really good on top of your passive. Though some people would say it's kind of overkill these days, it really kind of just factors in just how well you can sort of use it alongside it to just be able to keep up kiting and chasing people. So really depends on how well you play it. Either way, though, you've kind of recovered from your slight uh, brain fart early game when it came to clearing, and you've got a decent gank to boot. So nice work. That guy is Oom. I don't know why we're not killing him. Never mind. I think we wasted too much time there, and he got he got the mana back. He doesn't have shield though now, and your and your engage will come up faster than his. So you do have an opportunity to do something, which you should be doing right now, right now, right now. Too late. You even wasted flash to boot, which was a bit silly. The other problem is you spent so much time there that Vi actually just took Dragon from you from the opposite side because she has the lead. <laughs> <laughs> so, quick thing, right? If you're going to fuck around for this long in the bush, you have already lost. And I've just got to make this, like, particularly clear. If you actually had to make two trips back to bot lane in order to try and make this work without any, like, whole, like wholehearted belief or, of efficiency or any, like, sort of chance in the world for this without checking Dragon at the very least, you've wasted it. And now that Vi has taken Dragon off of you... This particular play isn't great, don't get me wrong, but the fact that you, like, were right there, you could have warded it, but you didn't, because you didn't buy a pink ward, nor, and you switched to a uh, red trinket that early on. You just kind of screwed out for it. And plus, like I said, with all, with all the whole thing about jungling is you want to efficiently go between camp to camp to camp, to the lane to see if it's gankable, and if not, just leave. You don't want to waste your time, because... The enemy jungler could be doing things much more efficiently than you are, because she's level 6, you're not. She's got dragon, and is still well to do with HP, and you're in trouble. You're up shit creek without a paddle, and she's just going to absolutely roll you down for it. The good news is that though, your bot lane can at least take out Pike without any struggle whatsoever. I lied. They have Shen. Or at least someone else was taken out in response. Karthus does the extra frags instead, which is good. But yeah, we finally got a pink ward out of it, which isn't so bad, but again, not really something that makes the, the difference here. Oh, Karthus coming in hot. Better late than never, I suppose. I don't see this working out. No, I don't. Not in the slightest. Oh, dear. And that right there is a big example of why screwing around and waiting in a lane for that long while the rest of the world is happening around you is a big mistake. It's like the equivalent of like just waiting there for something to, to give when it just won't. Now, I don't know why we're back bot again. Like, bots already technically got a lead on this. What was... Well, I mean, at least that uh, Nautilus is old is good for this, and this is an easy kill, but... What are, what are you hoping to gain from constantly spam ganking bot? I mean, you know he's there, which is a good sign. Dashed over the wall. Are we not going to at least take the tower here? Like what? Dives don't really mean much if you're not actually doing anything to just like, you know, gank under tower. But this is fine. Got another. <clears throat> so we got another attempt on bot lane, which is good. Mid lane is losing. Top lane is not doing great.
just go even elsewhere, guys. But I mean, don't forget, their jungler is present in those other lanes, and you barely got a gain out of bot lane apart from the kills. The kills don't merely mean a lot if you're not taking any extra tower plates. So this doesn't really give you like a, a massive benefit in the short term. Now, if you are a duo with anyone in the bot lane, then at least you're trying. And I'll give you credit for it. But this, honestly, with all the skills that you've wasted prior to this fight, you are really just asking for them to just come back and gank onto you. And that doesn't really give you, like, any sort of huge benefit. Oh my god, he actually died prior. Wowee. This right here is just a big skill fucking matchup right here. Like... And I don't mean skill matchup as in, like, oh, the bet the more skilled player wins. It's more just the fact that, like, in this situation, they should have beaten you. They should have just cleaned you guys up. Because you have a gigantic lead from their mistakes originally. They're just, they're just running in one by one and dying. Hell, if they converged on that earlier and just used Pike Ult to its full extent, you should all be dead. Because you spent all of your cooldowns in the previous attempt without any actual gain from it and it didn't reset. And overstaying like that is just going to get you killed. It's really awkward that that doesn't actually, like, pass up to you. Now, I don't want to pretend like you've sent me in a dud game where you're just, like, hard stomping. But, you know, with all this jungle participation you have, it's not as if you've done anything particularly, like, good. It's more just the fact that they have played egregiously terrible. Is he really just face-teching this again? I mean, it also doesn't help that you're back bot lane again for no reason whatsoever. Like, if I was smart, I could literally just take Rift Herald on your entire topside jungle for free. But, you know, what do we care for it? Like this is almost wasteful jungling at this point. At least you got at least you counter jungled his red, which is cool, but I mean They literally took Rift Herald and are about to gutter stomp topside and take first turret, and you're gonna try and take dragon in spite of this. I wouldn't say this is the greatest thing ever, but I can tell you right now that that Shen is going to be extremely hard to kill. I think I feel like the the crash course of low elo jungling is to just go into one lane in particular and just ram your dick into it until until like something something hits the fan. And I totally get like that people teach you this in some way or another. Like you know some I wouldn't say like coaches like would attempt to try this, but I've definitely seen some like some communities and some like mains discords that are like yeah if you're playing jungler just like you know focus on one lane and tilt it out of existence and just see how you go which i've heard of and i get it but if you want to like learn to be a good jungler and you want to be like useful in all stages of the game then you should be present in all like facets of the game right and you're not doing that in the slightest i don't know what diving this against the shen is going to do especially given how fucking fed that shen is at least Velkos literally missed everything there. I don't know why we went back into that without your ulti. And I don't know why you just flashed into the wall either. The fact that you live here is absolutely egregious. Holy shit. Oh, if I... Oh, God. My jungler is part of the Let's Pretend top, do top lane doesn't exist team. I mean, I agree. I think the part that bothers me more is not the fact that you think top lane doesn't exist, the fact you think the rest of the game doesn't exist because you just tunnel on bot side, which is kind of awkward considering you're a Trindomy one trick. Shouldn't Trindomy one tricks understand the importance of jungle ganks? Because I mean, I know I personally will gank every Trindomy one trick until they cry, so I have no reason to believe otherwise. Is that an ult? No, he didn't have it. Ooh, why it lived. Echo, go farm, we are fine, bot. Yeah, fuck, I should hope so. I'm pretty sure Vi's taking your entire top jungle by now, but you don't even think that's the case, because... <laughs> like I said, you're literally playing this game thinking that no one is going to punish you for just sitting bot lane the entire game. I don't understand. I really don't understand this trail of thinking. Like, it's like, oh yeah, just gonna sit bot side all game. Never mind that that literally dragon is already gone. 
Never mind that there is absolutely no reason to be bot side right now because they're about to take the tower on their own. What is the like what are you doing bot side? You've lost all your farm for here. You're you're about to just ulti under the tower for nothing. This is inting right here. I mean it's good that you have your ulti, but this is a really crappy use of your ult. I don't know what you're pinging him for. It's a crappy dive. It's a crappy Hang on. Can we just let's just go back. Like You've already given yourself away on the map, right? So Velkos is playing at tower, right? Like, I feel like that's obvious to you. Now, you want to ping this in and you want to go for the dive. Now, I get that you're, like, you're pretty fed right now and you think that this is a cool idea and all. But if you're going to go for this dive, what on earth makes you think that this is a good W to place? If you placed it here, maybe, or here... Why on earth would you place it here? Like, you don't even get the full benefit of it. <laughs> you don't even get a chance to get into it. Like, even if you're expecting Yasuo to dash to this and then dash to him, which might make sense in the short term, don't get me wrong, but I'm just as lost as he is trying to figure out what the hell your dive strategy is here. But this is your dive. It's crappy. You get his flash for free, which is good. He comes in just as fast as you do, goes for the fight, and you're expecting to, like, what, leave him there? Like, you're going to leave him under the turret after you are out of this. That's literally, like, textbook bad echo gameplay. What? You're just going to get mad at him for going in there? Like, he can literally go under the tower after you fuck that up, get locked down by Vi, and then you're going to still blame him anyway. And don't act like you wouldn't. I've seen this shit before. And this is where bad Yasuo players come from, because people actually think that, like, the Yasuo play is terrible, but it's crappy-ass junglers that do shit like this that makes fucking Yasuo players lose lane. Because <laughs> he did, he wouldn't need to dive that. You already got his flash, and you, like I said, if he flashed, if you put your W down properly, he would have flashed across your, uh, your field anyway, and he would have stunned him, and it would have been easier for him to do that. Now, don't get me wrong, if Echo had a knock-up uh, in that kit somewhere, it's uh, it's something that you could consider. But it's so awkward to just ping him for no reason. Though you do say sorry to him, which makes me wonder if he actually had something about how could I... Oh, that's right, he asked you how he could dive. And you're like, oh, brain has re brainstem has reattached to my head. Oh, yes, okay, I get it. It's very, very crummy, like, attempts here to actually get anything done. Also, by now, if you're not actually going to use your refillable pot even to just maintain your height, like, your health at full, then you shouldn't even, you should sell it. You should have sold it a while ago, honestly. Wow, free flash. Cool. Now, keep in mind, you are trying to dive a Shen that has a Spirit Visage. Who is way ahead of the both. Like, he's level 13 and you're level 9. Like, what are you hoping for here? Like, are you not understanding that, like, every mistake that you've made in early game is now starting to bite you in the ass? Like, jungle is about to come up. I oh, sorry, jungle. Dragon is about to come up on bot side. And, like, look at the score lines. You can't do anything about this at all. Now Vi is going to take your jungle, because you're caught topside without timing anything again. No surprising. Every jungler has to learn, like, how the first, how the first and second camps go, and start learning how to time their own shit. Basically, first minute of the game, seven minute of the game, 12 minute of the game, you'll be able to understand where you should be based on the actual like flow of the game and how much you can actually bring into this. And don't get me wrong, I'm glad you do a butt ton of damage, but this doesn't mean shit if you're just going to ulti back into trouble all the time. You should have just eat out over the wall. I feel like, hang on. 
when you when you got an ulti back out of this, is there any reason? Well, I mean, it's bad enough that you face tank this when you could have just gone straight onto Sivir, but you know. But like, you know that Velkoz is behind you because you saw him. So like, even if you ulti backwards here, you don't have any cooldowns to work with. Like, what are you? What's the point in even going backwards like this? You might have been better off just running like down a bit more so that Vi would chase you some more and then you could ulti back towards the pit and then E over the pit. I mean, Yasuo gets a good shutdown off that, so it might be, like, worth something to you. You should have sold your refillable pot by now. It's not worth anything at this point. That Shen is extremely fed, regardless of his terrible CS. It's kind of crazy, actually. Oh, look, your red buff's back. After all that time of being in Vi's pocket. Now, if you wanted like vision control, you should have knocked that plant over the over the rim of it so you could see if there were any wards placed. But I mean, Baron is about to loom, and you're not going to be able to get that, and you just mistimed it. Kick. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is the the low elo stump that we get that people get stuck on. Where he would have start rocking out alone trying to do things that they shouldn't be doing. If you actually try to fight this, you're going to die. Like there is actually no universe here where you can get away with this play. What are you doing? I don't understand. Who are you going to blame for it this time? Yes, get me out. We're just we're just gonna throw the blame game out for not having any like agency, but like, during this game at all. Mute all. Oh, at least you had the the smarts to mute all. Wow, you're actually one of those people that just types with stars. I mean, at least own up to your to, to your bad language. Shit, dude. Instead of just acting smug and, like, you know, passively, aggressively attacking your teammates. Like, there's no gain here. Oh my god, the heal. Alright, so we flashed out to get another kill here, which I guess isn't so bad. Oh, that hit. There you go. Free kill. Oh, no, never mind. You both missed. No DH proc. Feels bad. Oh, man. Your mental needs a butt ton of work. I've never actually, like... Well, to be honest, I've never not seen a jungler that had, like, mental breakdowns over their own gameplay because they're just too busy blaming everyone else. It's not as if, like, what you did was particularly, like, good for it. I mean, you could have comboed that Shen to kill him instantly and take the kill if you were that desperate for it. It's better than Nautilus having it. But, you know. Potato, potato. You, are you going to try and ulti backwards into this? I feel like you're going to. Red Lens doing work. So be it. Okay, good. You didn't ulti backwards. I'm, sm I'm smart for this. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling good for this one. Got the sheen done. Yeah, okay. We got Lich Bane. Still haven't sold the refillable pot. Still haven't bought a control ward in about 10 minutes. Feeling pretty good about the situation we're in here. 
But that's all right. We still have the tried and true idea of blaming the top laner or the mid laner or the bot laner or the support or the jungle diff or loser skew. That's a new one these days. I love the fact that we're blaming stupid shit like this. Also, what what was the point in going in for that when you had absolutely no reason to? Well, that was a solid int. I enjoyed it. Just kidding. I really have no idea what the fuck you were doing there. Hang on. Let, let's just let's just repeat this. So with absolutely zero vision, not a care in the world, no wards available to place, you just hard out, like knowing that no one else is available on the map. Do you actually have vision of the mid lane as well prior to this? No. So instead of just thinking about what you're about to do, you actually just like go balls to the wall trying to kill the one person that is four levels above you who has Triforce Starax and is more than capable of soaking any amount of damage you put onto them before anyone else gets there. Who does more damage in one combo than you would like to believe right now. And you actually attempted this. Even with your... Like, using your ulti and getting stuck in the pit doesn't really help you here. And you just get caught up again. What is the point of that? That is a real int. That is just straight up inting. Does Ignite kill Vercars? No, it doesn't. Feels bad. Look, the good news is that the dragon has actually done more damage than you in this fight. So you should be absolutely thankful that it is helping you win, even though you lost. Oh, now you're voting no. First it's vote yes, get me out. Oh, my mental, oh, my fragile ego. Now it's vote no and blame the Carthus for everything. Uh... I have some, I have some, some choice advice for you, my man. Glass houses. That's the, they're the two words that you need to like start living by. No, no person ever should throw stones if they live in a glass house. Also, if you had blue smite there, you probably would have been able to chase him down. But then again, he has the ability to kill you. So I don't think it really matters. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Actually, a higher chance you die here, too. Fuck me. Oh. I'm willing to bet you're about to end this game, too, with that refillable pot in your inventory as well. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no, hang on. He's going to sell it. No, just kidding. He undid it. But at least he bought a stopwatch. That's okay, I suppose. Oh, no, he sold the refillable pot about damn time. Still, it'll take a bit of time before he gets the control wards into his, uh, into his inventory. Start doing full clears, you need it, bro. I like how you mute it all and then proceed to continue shit talking your teammates. Like, for real? Like, what kind of mental boom are you going through right now? Like, what actual level of silliness could, like, could you actually, you know, doing this? Oh, dear. Now, never mind the fact that you're stupidly behind and there's no point in even going in for this fight. But if you even try to get inside this, are you not expecting to just get collateral damaged by everything that's going on here? Like, Velkos could sneeze in any random direction, that's most of your health gone. And you were actually thinking of going in on this. Also, you should have reacted to Vi coming at you by eating backwards, or at least over this, over this dead tower. And it would have actually made your life a bit easier, but she just out combos you and kills you straight off every time. Like you absolutely neglected the rest of the like the the map. Not even like the rest of your team. You neglected the rest of the map just to tunnel on bot side for absolutely like minimal gain. You lost your entire jungle. You lost the lanes of the other two people because Vi was able to be there and you couldn't. You proceeded to mute all the rest of your team and the enemy team and still continue to shit talk. My man, you are like the textbook Trindamir main that no one has ever not wanted to see in their games before. Like, holy shit. 
this is like the the prime example of don't play League of Legends. <laughs> Seriously, just don't. If you ha if you have absolutely no range of being able to like deal with people, why bother? This is inting. Didn't even po you could have at least put W down before you were going to go in and suicide there. Yeesh. Oh. oh, big Yasuo. Doing the work. I actually feel sorry for the Nautilus in this game. Dude tried his heart out, and he had to watch you int on his behalf. Oh, here comes Vi. Rip. So the funny thing is, right, in this situation, you would have actually felt infinitely better if Nautilus was able to roam, because then he would have done more work in mid and top lane than you. But no, you can blame the Carthus for your loss. <laughs> you can blame him all you want. It doesn't fucking change the fact that you entered your entire early game away. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Funny thing is, if she has her... Oh, she could probably kill you. Oh, no, she entered. Never mind. <laughs> oh, dear. Can agreed for that kill. But I say, there is definitely a chance that she can kill you there. Oh boy, you actually survived. Count your lucky stars. Oh dear. Deary, deary, dear. I still can't, like, fathom why people will mute all and then proceed to shit-talk their teammates. Like, like they think it's going to change anything. Or they think, like, I'm going to feel sorry for them, or they're going to feel vindicated by my coaching because of this. Like, no. Just no. <laughs> Please. Again, this is why Blue Smite is helpful, because the moment she activates her ulti, you would be able to leech the speed off of it and get your passive on her as well. But, now nah, you lose. Also, they will get Mountain Soul off this, and you will get nothing. That's uh, that's going to be the plan here by the look of it. Here, boy. Yep, they've got Mountain Soul. And now you're dead. That's a clean FF. Oh, boy. Against their team, I might have considered the earlier uh, Zonias, but meh. You went greedy because you had a lead. I don't really mind that, but what you did like before and after that was just plain silly. The fact that Vi has Mountain Soul and her passive shield just ruins you. I'm pretty sure Vi could actually 1v5 your whole team right now. It's a big zoink right there. I assume this is where the game ends. Oh boy. GG. Oh boy. Oh dear. What a game. What a game. Did you set up a tent mid? Well, good to know Blitz.gg has 100% failed in this regard, because you were bot lane the entire game. Oh boy. Anyway. <laughs> you died at 20 minutes, 23 minutes, 24 minutes, 26 minutes, 27 minutes, 29 minutes, and 30 minutes. Literally between 20 and 30 minutes, you just racked up a million deaths just cause. This should be the most prominent stat that you should have actually remembered before you actually came into this, man. Your entire early game, you squandered by just camping bot lane for minimal gain. And 
yeah, that caused you to just lose everything else on the map. You lost all of your jungle camps. You lost Rift Herald. You lost the fights in mid and top lane because the, you weren't even there to deal with it. Your Karthus got put behind. Your, their Shen got stupidly far ahead. Their Velkoz was able to survive lane phase and hard shove because that's literally all he can do. And that's where he ended up with all this money. Their Vi outscaled you. Their Vi out DPSed you. Their Vi was everywhere. You were nowhere. They're, like, the only thing that, the only way you were actually present in this game was by all the constant bullshit you were typing in chat. Absolutely needless, pointless, useless. Not even required. Never do that again. If you're going to worry about, like, being better at the game and you're worried about, like, where you need to be and so on and so forth, never, ever, ever do some of the shit you did in this game again. Now, you did tell me you know you should start W on Echo as well, but I'm trying to get some champions with carry potential then narrow it down to the two or three or just the one-trick pony. So, just so we have this right, if your attempt was the one-trick pony Echo, you should at least follow the skill build that is correct and easy to follow and does the most in the early game. If you're going to worry about, like, one-tricking Echo in the jungle as well, then please, for the love of all that is cute and fluffy, please follow a basic uh, jungle path first and foremost before you start doing any silly invades if you're going to start at the enemy's blue for instance there is no point in going from their blue to their gromp without w you need w to like bear the brunt of the gromp damage for starters gromp does bonus damage on his first attacks so you should be taking you should be mindful of that then from there you should do your basic clear and use smite effectively to regain your health alongside the fact that you start with a Hunter's Talisman and your Q to get a lot of health back. Very good for that. Absolutely atrocious mental overall. I recommend working on that. But the easiest way to do it is to stop caring about what your teammates are doing when you're the primary cause of this. You don't throw stones if you live in a glass house, my dude absolute waste of time please never do that again now this is the part that's going to hurt two control wards over the course of the entire game especially after switching to <laughs> you switched oh this is the part that hurts you place a trinket at two minutes you switch to red lens you didn't place a control ward until 12 minutes and then you didn't place another control ward until ever. <laughs> Literally never. Hmm. Can't begin to tell you how much it hurts seeing junglers that don't like prioritize any sort of vision control, especially around objectives. Half your deaths were literally to a lack of vision control because you just walked headlong into death over and over again for no reason whatsoever. It's painful. Have to just revisit your entire early game strategy when it comes to this, dude. If you think that just hard stuck ganking bot lane is going to change anything, it's not going to work. Please fix the strategy. Ugh. Either way, I hope to see another one from you in the future that actually puts the advice here to good use. I... <sighs> I can't say that I'm anything less than disappointed because truthfully, like, it's hard. Okay, I get that this is your first time here, but it's hard for me to actually justify seeing people say, oh, I want to know what I could do better in this game and then make the most egregious of mistakes and then blame it on their teammates. Like, start with the simple things, man. Look inward. Either way, thank you everyone for watching the video. Hope you all learned a good something today. If you are brand new or you're interested in seeing more content, don't forget to like and subscribe. There is all the info down in the comments about the community, the Discord, everything like that. So don't forget to drop in and come say hi. Uh, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed yourselves today. My name is Rec9. This was a roasting. Hope you all enjoyed yourselves. Love you all and best to you. Bye-bye.